We have a happy update for you regarding the San Diego Automotive Museum. After months of just really struggling because of the, the roller coaster that this pandemic has been. Yeah, we first told you about the museum and their financial challenges a couple of weeks ago, but they weren't just going to sit in the back seat, so to speak. They were going to do something about it, and they did. Raffling off, yep. You guessed it, that classic car right there. Ashley Matthews joins us with an update. <laughs> Ashley, so glad you circled back on this one. Yeah, you know, it's always fun to do these stories, Stephen and Nicole, and then see who actually wins the car, how that all went down, right? Uh, we were all invested in this story a bit, too. And it's so nice that this has really helped out the San Diego Automotive Museum because they have been struggling for the past year or so. They've had to do layoffs, furloughs, and they were actually looking at more layoffs right before the holidays, which, of course, nobody wants to do. So they had to get creative and uh, find a way to raise some money and quickly. So they looked in their display room, their showroom, and uh, picked a car. They raffled it off. Take a look. People bought raffle tickets, and one lucky person was the winner of this beautiful 1968 Dodge Cornet. Isn't that a wonderful color, too? Well, just to give you a little more background on why the museum needed to pull from their display and raffle off a car, well, the museum first closed in the middle of March, opened back up in June, closed again in July, reopened in September, and now the brakes are back on and they are back to being closed, unfortunately. So they called us up. We did a news story about the raffle and it was really incredible to see the response from the community. The lucky winner was actually watching our story that morning a few weeks ago. And that along with his daughter persuaded him to help out, test his luck and buy a ticket. And I thought, eh, I'll just buy one, you know? And then when one ticket did it, you know? Oh my gosh, we raised $57,000. During this raffle, which really had nuts two months payroll for us. Um, so keeping people on, uh, it was a real morale booster. Yeah, this is such a, a great uh, update to this story. And the CEO did say that because of that money raised in the raffle, also the vaccine coming out and other grants, they think they'll be able to make it. So that's wonderful news there. And another thing, James, the winner, he actually has another classic car a uh, 59 Cadillac, and he's in talks with the museum of uh, donating that. So, hey, win-win for everyone involved, right? Uh, reporting live from Harbor Island this morning, Ashley Matthews, NBC7. Well.